Percy's moving back home, um, so this is what this vlog is going to be about, all about me getting um, everything ready for him and then him coming back. So I've literally just arrived at the yard, it is Wednesday, Percy's coming back on Friday, oh my gosh, but today I had the day off, so moving everything. Anyways, so I thought we, oh it's falling out. This is the situation. This isn't even all her stuff, so. And this is my sister. Oh, you didn't brush my hair because she didn't tell me she was vlogging. Her YouTube channel is linked down below. Okay, so this is the other fun thing that we've got to do is all that stuff that's in my car has to fit in this tank room. <laughs> I've also just realised that I, where the window ledges, it's kind of like not really got me in shot. Like if I stand up, so we've got a weird squat thing going on. Anyways, squat my labels, if it focuses, um, and this is where they're going. I think I'm gonna double side tape them. This blue tack's not gonna hold. Um, so I'm just gonna lay them all out on this work surface I created. I said loads of drawers, um, and then stick them all up. Okay, so they're all laid out, ready to go up here. There he is. Anyways, we've got our tape. So I'm just gonna like, bam. Okay, so this is a complete guess, but it fits perfectly in there. So the first one is ready to go up. Will I screw this up? That's the real question. Yes, that's the answer to that. It's slightly off, it's slightly annoying me, but it's fine. Anyways, on with the rest of them. As you can see, Freddie has a lot more stuff than Percy, hence he's got like twice the number of pegs. Poor P-Dog. Oh well. No, oh, he's not. Okay, so the next job are all of these drawers um, to put proper labels on them rather than just whiteboard pen, which has actually stained them. So I'm hoping it will fit over the top. But if not, we're just going to have to cry about it, and I will. Okay, I've got three labels left, three boxes to do, and I've got to sort the boxes afterwards. But we are making progress. The sun has literally just come out as well. It looks so weird, it's like grey. But then it's also really bright. Who knows what the weatherman is up to. Okay, so I just filmed a video of me filling this out and explaining it all. And my phone decided it didn't have enough storage halfway through. So, anyways, plan for next week. Used to just be the whiteboard set up there, but I've redone it all. Um, shout out to anyone that ever noticed it before. And I'm going to put it up. Anyways, on to the next thing. So I found these two boxes in literally like the Wendy house in our garden. Um, currently we do bandages in this and boots in that. This is a, oh, I'll get of it. Spikey's Dodson and Horrell bucket from Leno, um, which is really nice, but it's just like awkward shape, like to carry things in around in. Um, so I'm gonna try and find a different purpose for it. It's lovely bucket 
but I just think boxes would fit nicer down here, be more uniform. So this is where we're currently at. Everything is labelled. I still start beats and the bandages. And now we'll just remove everything in. So we've moved all of Percy's stuff in. I can't talk on this now without mm. thinking about you bullying me. I've given you a complex. Yeah, you have. Um, it's all in. Behind mm. me. Now I've like properly changed my <laughs> voice. Because I'm going to know now. <laughs> I was breast cancer. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm getting back to how I usually speak. Um, <laughs> it's just not like this. I've got popcorn in my teeth. Um, <laughs> so we've decided to go on excursion. We're going feed shopping. We need to get Percy one feed and some feed buckets and a whole load of everything, really. Um, I've got a list. Oh, we need soft saddle soap. You need Percy to get some lickets. I've got lickets at home. What flavours, though? I've got mint and salt. Oh. Or apple and salt. Right. Uh, I had another thing I needed to get, but I'll think of it. All right, we are back. We've got supplies. We've got food for Percy. We've got feed buckets for Percy, and we've got soft saddle soap for my saddles. So the next challenge, next target area, is this feed room and rug room and hay barn and everything room, basically. Let's get down to business. So the feet behind. Good, they certainly do all says. When I asked for some. You're the saddest bunch I've ever met. Okay, so the rug room is finished and we are moving on to feed room. Uh, we've just taken a look in here. Um, and it turns out it's like a chaff from when we first bought him. Six questions. years ago. Bought him, loaned him. Um, but yeah, that's stress. That's got to go out. <laughs> Did you find any time? So here is our little haul of things that we bought. You bought. I bought. I spent all of my money on. For a pea dog, they're all pink. <laughs> and then there's feed still in my car. Okay, so it's all finished. All tidied. And look how much more satisfying it is. Now they're all labelled. Look at what my sister did. Look at how rubbish that is. Um, anyways, and then I pressed these buckets. His name on them. His chaff. And the board. Everything on it. And the rubbish that needs to go at some point. And plus his bedding is up there, which is well enough in his stable when it's clear. That's for another day. <laughs> okay, so I finished with the feed room. Finally. And we literally just got Percy's field to do, and then we're all done for the day. So I'm gonna grab my bucket, grab my electric zapper, because Percy's well known for not respecting fences. Don't really want him to end up next door. That's not really on my list of things to do. So I'm gonna change the batteries in this, and then take it up and attach it to the fence. So this is Percy's field. <laughs> That's next door, and that's the rest of the field. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just like to mama, I was like, just give him the one with the most grass in it. And it's like nice grass. So my pony's going to get fat, which is amazing. Um, just trying to find where the hose goes. So Louise is trying to find where the hose goes, and then we're gonna fill up the water. And I'm going to work out where I want to attach. Oh, I should probably come and do some rag in this field. Whoopsies. How frustrating is this? So this one comes to here. That one comes to here. So annoying. Just like that, he has clean, fresh water. Okay, that is all for today, really. Um, I don't know my sister's gone. Matt's always sends me in weird locations. I don't know where I want me to go. Anyway.
anyways. That is, yeah, all for today, but obviously I'm vlogging when I actually bring him home, so get excited. Get really excited is what I'm saying. Okay, so I am back. Um, Percy's, Percy's stable is clear. So I'm gonna set that up. I wasn't gonna come back. Um, I was gonna just set it up when he came back, but I might as well, I'm here. So that is this afternoon's agenda for our quick break. Here it is, it is a stable. What spikes? Hey, that's a bit rude. The birds pooed on my mat. So I'm gonna start putting these bad boys down. <laughs> Super deep satisfying editing top up. Uh, I love this bedding so much. Not sponsored, wish I was. Literally my favourite. <laughs> Perfect little Percy. Um, it's a bit bumpy. Oh well, look. I'm sure he will live with it. He gets banks because he got two bags of bedding. Got a new stable. Uh, most of them. Okay, most of them. Both of the others. I'll show you a dirty stable. From a tiny. No, like, tiny doesn't get banks. But look, see, tiny you can get two rubber mats in there. So his stable. Must be bigger than the smelty pigs. And that is everything for today, actually. So, next time I'm vlogging, Percy will be on his way home. Anyways, I thought I should explain a little bit about where we've been and insert some videos of him and how much he's improved over the last, like, seven months. So, we've been based with Bruce Haskell, who is a five-star event rider and he has been helping me bring Percy on a bit more while I've been working for him. Like so many lessons. He's a completely different pony now. Like we've retaught him how to jump, reintroduced all his flat work, introduced him to contacts and everything. And like, he's just a completely different pony. Um, so I'm now in a place where I can produce him a bit more on my own. And I want to make the most of my last summer before I go to uni on my gap year. And so yeah, he's coming home. <laughs> very, very excited. Um, and he's never actually been at this yard before. So we had him on livery before because we needed a school. <laughs>
Ben. Yes. Hey. You're a big boy now. He's got itchy. I dropped you off new groove. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a carrot? Prissy. 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 What's this? Come here. Prissy. <laughs> Does he know what a carrot is? Fred's going to be very happy to see you. He's not a traveler. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> He's just new to Fred now, I think. Catherine, when you go up to you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would love to come back to a fat person. A mission. So I think he did see me once. Okay, where have we gone? Um, I can get this in the seat here. Do you want me to take the pony? I will take the pony. Yeah. You found the boy? You found the pig? The puppy? You ready? Understand what you are. You have you have lots of hair. It's too much hair. Here, Here she is. She hasn't abandoned you. I mean, it's good 
he didn't move when we were trailing it, did you? Did you see that traffic jam? That